let's talk about demonetization a recent book uh, by subhash garg actually picks up this question of whether raghuram rajan is rbi governor placed his objections to demonetization in a note and i happen to interview him so i i have some details on this his argument is that you met with the prime minister you possibly verbally objected or put forth your views on demonetization but when he sought a record of what happened in that meeting who said what what did you actually say he says that he got a kind of covering note a kind of summary note that did not give him the details of your exact position on demonetization i know in a previous book you did say as you are saying today uh, that you warned of the consequences of doing this was that on record was that verbally there is a note on record which was given to, to the prime minister's office a note on record detailing what um the views of the rbi and the rbi at that time under you yep. thought what about demonetization i think the uh um you have to um sort of see what was asked and what was answered what was asked was what would the consequences be and what was answered was here are the potential consequences and here are alternatives that you must consider i think if i am not wrong you have said previously that it's not that you were totally opposed to the idea of demonetization you thought there were short term consequences and long term possible benefits but it worked only if there was enough currency in enough sort of currency to circulate that we won't see what happened right after demonetization i i don't think i was ever a fan of demonetization right from the beginning i was clear that this was something that our um sort of people would find ways around yeah. the ones that were were uh, you know who had um ill gotten gains while it would subject the rest to a lot of uh, harassment pain and suffering as they tried to get things done but almost surely if you wanted to go down this route you had to print the money first you shouldn't do it when you don't have the money printed did you not say that uh yeah i don't remember no i i i think we gave a, a time for when it would be printed also what was the response to that note uh it went in in you never heard back no not from the note because we now are told that there were extensive consultations with the rbi on demonetization over a few months before it happened i think the decision was made to uh go ahead and remember this is the time when uh we had the, you know this is after the commonwealth games when um, a certain minister was opposed to the commonwealth games and didn't sort of build stuff up and then we had you know to catch up towards the end so my view was you know uh, and this is on the basis of legal advice that we got at the rbi you cannot stand against it if the government can force you to do it Uh, including they have this clause in government which can force you uh, they can invoke that uh, so you um, basically have to accept what the government decides or resign i think you said somewhere that if you were rbi governor when it happened yeah i mean you always can if you do, felt strong if you, theoretically you if could you resign if you feel strongly and my wife kept telling me you'll feel strongly but you'll feel that without you there it'll be even worse mm. uh, as you tackle the thing so you will stay on and it'll be forever linked to your name uh i don't know what would have happened this is a hypothetical uh but the um uh, where where we i'm sorry uh, the detailing of the we, opposition to demonetize yeah i th- i think we uh we basically said here's the time frame that we will need to start printing notes and people keep asking why the 2000 rupee note because that was the only note which was large enough to print within the time frame to replace the entire 1500 and i remember you know when i knew the decision had been made i said okay let's go print these because we don't want the country to be without the notes when this happens and there was a time frame given for that when we needed to print enough to substitute the other thing i pleaded with the authorities and i would not name who i pleaded mm. with was don't do the th- uh, the 500s 
because the 500s are still used in in normal exchange do the thousands because that gets you what much of what you want if people are holding they will hold in the thousands but the 500s are going to be you know you can and and that will also give us the time to print enough did your note <coughs> talk about these specifics but also record your disagreement or did it kind of say this is if you're going to do it this is the better way to do it i think it 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 touches on all this it touches on all this it also says here are some alternatives to demonetization so you would say that the government was well aware that as rbi governor you were opposed to demonetization yes and uh, i mean to some extent you can imagine uh, the note is always produced by an institution the verbal is always by an individual hmm. an ind- individual in in conversation can be even more forceful than a note and you met the prime minister i met every every echelon that would listen to me and what did they say yes yes and then demonetization happened yes <laughs> 